both athletes chasing their first black belt European title. Adam won it at brown belt in 2016. Yeah, I'm very excited for this. We haven't seen Dominic Bell too much lately and uh, came out, had an incredible tournament so far. Comes up on top after the double guard pull with the uh, advantage. Definitely looked tactical and strategic on that point. Has a nice grip with his right hand on the cross face. Yeah, it was a great move from Don Bell because unlikely that Wardzinski would want to stand with him. So instead of just taking the guard pull, he scores an advantage on the way up. Now looking to pass with some pressure, but he has to watch out. Adam's right in his zone. Crafty butterfly guard player. Yeah, very deceiving when you have a player as good as Wardzinski from this position. You feel like you're dropping your weight, feel like you're getting close to the pass, and all of a sudden you're upside down. <laughs> exactly where Wardzinski wants to be. Dom doing a great job countering it so far in the splits here. Incredible base. Dom Wardzinski. doing a great job popping that foot off the hip to kind of relieve some of the pressure of Rosinski's long legs, but not enough. As Rosinski starts to come up, looking for the two here, may have to end up with a wrestle up. And back into single leg X, double pant. Sweep coming to the top position, almost scoring. And he will solidify the top position for the two. Relentless tenacity for Mordzinski earns him the two points there. Way to use the off balancing to and fro to secure the two points. And now he's got Don Bell flattened out, both shoulders touching the mat. But there's yeah. still plenty of time left, Kendall. Yeah, great base work by Dominic Bell. I mean, that of course, he definitely had a very hard time sweeping him. He was doing a great job adjusting side to side to every direction that that uh, Adam was showing him. But not only did Adam's tenacity earn him the two, it earned him, like you said, a beautiful passing position. So he comes up on top with a smart, a very uh, great underhook, a smashing cross face, and a nice half guard passing position for Warzynski. Wardzinski bringing his head down to the other side, really flattening out Dominic Bell's right shoulder and moving into more of a mount smashing position here. Incredible adjustment, hips in by Wardzinski. Big bridge though by Don Bell, it's not solidified yet. Still looking for the back now, Don Wardzinski. Bell may get this. Unbelievable. <laughs> Incredible work from Don Bell to reverse the fortune there of Adam Wardzinski. Of course, that is not a sweeping position, but still significantly better than the alternative for Dominic Bell. Well done. Unbelievable. I'm, I'm still surprised. <laughs> I mean, for me, I thought it was over. I thought the mount was going to be done, if not the back. And it really just shows both of these athletes. This, this match is being controlled by tenacity and resilience right now, that's for sure. Both on the sweep and the escape from the pass. Orzinski, though, with great closed guard control here. Controlling the posture of Don Bell with his left arm. Wardzinski looking to feed the lapel over the back. Galvao in Dom's corner telling him to posture up to open the guard. Doesn't like how this is looking with his posture broken down. Orzinski doing a good job feeding the lapel through. It's kind of helping him inch around, anchoring himself to Dom's side. And this is absolutely a battle of inches, trying to stay square with your partner and person on bottom trying to get behind one of the shoulders or inch your hips out at the right angle. Warzynski transfers the lapel to his other hand now, really ratcheting down the, the force on that. It's going to be nearly impossible for Don Bell to posture up until he removes the lapel from behind his neck at this point. Just about five minutes left here. And Warzynski has two points and a one advantage lead.
Great control here by Wardzinski and Dom does need to be careful because the temptation to have like some big upward movement to posture up is there. But anytime he does, there's a lot of danger with both his forearm, his near arm, his back, uh, the leg for like pendulum style sweeps. It's a very dangerous position to be in. So we may see a triangle attempt here as well. Wardzinski trying to shove that arm in there for a moment. Now releases the lapel and into more of a shoulder crunch position. Andre Galval calling for Dom to try and get on his feet and stand up. Wardzinski doing everything in his power to keep Dom Bell's head glued to his own chest. Break the posture, let the time run out. We're under four minutes now, up by two points, two advantages. And this is what Sean Jaberro calls side guard. <laughs> You know, it's very, uh, very prominent in his game as well. Side guard, kind of moving our hips out to the side. And again, like we've been saying, it gives access to the near side arm, gives access to triangles, it gives access to the far side arm, the back, underhooking the leg. I mean, the possibilities are endless. If you can isolate your opponent's arm, break their posture, and move your hips out to the side of their body, it's a very, very dangerous spot for the top person to be in. Doesn't allow for a lot of options to escape. The lapel grip starting to slide down the back of Dom now a little bit. Not as effective as it was when it was right around the neck. Still Dom struggling here with the, the posture control of Adam Wardzinski. Yeah, Wardzinski also does a great job with his, his legs are very long and anytime he needs to adjust, he can either do a big hip escape, but once he adjusts, he climbs the guard back up Tom Bell's back and so really continues to break the posture the entire time. So he has his legs controlling Dom's mid back and his upper body controlling the high back and, and the head. So very frustrating position to be in on the top. Attention please. Bruno Felipe Santos Lima. You are cool. Now we're seeing some breathing room for Dom for a moment before Warzynski regains control yet again and now starts to scoop underneath the leg for some new attacks. Climbs that high guard up again. Dom definitely trying to stand up here and posture up, but he knows that once the Legs come up, his legs open up, so that's the trade-off here. And Warzinski can climb even higher, exposing the arms. Yeah, as you say that, we see Warzinski adjusting the guard, climbing, like you said. Dom sort of left without much of a choice, though. Still between a rock and a hard place in Warzinski's yes. closed guard. Yeah, Gavel calling for Dom to shimmy his shoulders out, to stand back up. But every time he does, just like we were saying, the leg opens up, the guard walks higher. Gaval telling Dom to grab the pants and the belt to shove those hips down. 115 left and Warzynski does have this amazing two point lead. An amazing position now to control Dom Bell to maybe ride out the clock, look for more attacks. Now we see some somewhat of a better position for Don Bell. Still not out of danger though. That high guard is very dangerous and needs to be respected. Approaching 50 seconds here. Andre begging Don Bell to try and find a way to open this guard. Warzinski hanging on for dear life, but up by two points. Yeah, Dom doing a great job following direction. Really, really a coachable athlete. You know, you can tell he's listening, but the guard of Warzinski is really proving to be difficult to open up. Long legs, great control, excellent position. Less than 30 seconds left. The guard does come open for a moment here. Don Bell does have enough time should he pass to secure it. But it's a tall order as Adam slides back into guard. Bringing into a knee cut position almost here. Don Bell does have the underhook, but doesn't have the time. Ten seconds left. 
And this is gonna be Adam Warzynski's first ever European title as a black belt. Incredible match here between these two gentlemen in the heavyweight division. Yeah, great tenacity from both, both athletes. Really impressed with Dom Bell's performance in the last 20 seconds there. Just never ever giving up on the position or the win. <laughs> Wardzinski's beautiful control. And also important to be said that that close guard position, you know, while they were there for a long time, he was consistently moving forward for a submission or an advancement, right? It's not, that's why there was no stalling call, you know, consistently looking for the arms, looking for the back. Beautiful classic jiu-jitsu there. Don Bell finally able to escape at the very end. Looked like a near pass position. And Adam will finish here with a two point win for his first European championship. Very, very exciting. <laughs> A fired up Adam Warzinski. <laughs> very excited to take home his gold medal here. And we're moving on to the last Final in the weight divisions as Rafael Lovato Jr. will take on Guillermo Guedes in the ultra heavyweight final here. And then we'll be on to the absolutes. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. <laughs> 